thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Savior thank you Messiah thank you Christ thank you Holy Spirit the spirit of truth the spirit of life the revealer of mysteries thank you Father thank you Creator thank you for making us today take all glory take all praises you are the God that decides to be worshipped we exalt you today we worship you we lift our hands unto heavens and we say, Hallowed be your name. Take all glory, be magnified, O Lord. Take all praises, take all honor. The God of heavens and the God of the earth. The King of heaven and the King of the earth. Who was, who is, who is to come? The half and the omega, the ancients of days, the beginning of the and the ending of all things. We bow down before you. We come before you in worship because you promise us before we open our mouths and to pray you have heard when we are yet speaking you have answered as many prayers we are going to say in the next few minutes thank you because you have heard us and you have answered us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as many prayers we are going to say today that your children are saying even in their hearts the secret prayers the prayers that they have been saying for years today we stand upon your word and we say you have heard your prayers and you have answered us in Jesus mighty name this is morning cry coming to you from save the world Christian ministry a ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my name is Dr. Baba Tokwe Babalubi and Genesis chapter 9 verse 9 says Behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you. We serve a God of covenants. God rejoices in covenants because God wants a relationship. And one of the ways he can be assured of a relationship is to have a covenant with, with you. God doesn't like loneliness. Just like human beings don't like loneliness. God doesn't like loneliness. He created man, he created woman for fellowship, to have a relationship, and for him to be sure that this person will not jit me, so to say, this person will not abandon me, this person will not cheat me. He establishes covenant with people. So once he establishes a covenant with you, he knows, I mean, he has the assurance that he will be faithful. But of course, men are always unfaithful, but God remains faithful. Now, the Holy Spirit wants you to know that one of the ways of enjoying God is to go into covenant with Him. A covenant is an agreement. A covenant is a decision, a mutual decision. Go into covenant. God wants you to do a covenant with Him on anything. Just think, God, I'm going to do this one for you. As I'm doing this one for you, by covenant, I want you to do this one for me. The Bible says, gather together unto me my sins who make a covenant with me by sacrifice. So, God has initiated several covenants. Today, he initiate a covenant with God. Let the Spirit of God decide for you. And it's not only about money. Although money is good, it's not only about money. It's about what do you want to do for God? How do you want to serve God? How do you want... To, to remain holy and righteous. Make a covenant. We serve a God of covenant. He, he likes covenant. He rejoices in covenant. And the truth is that from time to time, God inside will make covenants with you. There are some covenants He has made with me. He has told me I will never be stranded. He has told me I will always have money. He always provide for me. He has told me you always provide for me. He has, oh, he has told me you always protect me. There are some, some, some covenants. He has told me I will be wise and I will live long. So when I remember those covenants, I'm not afraid of poverty. I'm not afraid of sudden death. I'm not afraid of, of evil attack because this is God himself that has told me that you, Baba Tokwe, you will not die young. You will live old. So today, make a covenant with God as you step out. And one way of provoking God to make a covenant with him is by loving him, by fearing him, by serving him. I pronounce you a child of covenant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the covenant of long life. 
receive the covenant of divine protection receive the covenant of divine provision in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive the covenant of thou shalt not be barren. Receive the covenant of favor. Receive the covenant of fruitfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are a child of covenant. You shall walk in covenant. And the good thing about covenant is that it lasts unto generations. Every evil covenant in your life, I command you to be broken. And receive the covenant. Enter the covenant of Abraham. Enter the covenant of joy. And the covenant of mercy, it is well with you today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.